Hello everyone, FunnerX03 here. Ready for the PS5? PlayStation 5. Sony has done it. They're finally showing us the games for their upcoming console, the PlayStation 5. No, this isn't a boring lecture about the console specs. No, this isn't a tech demo compilation. This is nothing but PlayStation 5 games. Most of which being PS4 games that were moved to the PS5. Let's look at some games! To start off, Sony hits us with a little retrospective that they like to do often, just to really hit home the fact that PlayStation is 25 years old. Then we get GTA 5. It's GTA 5 again. You know, the PS3 game. The game that's also backwards compatible with PS5. Yeah, it's getting ported again. You know it's not a port? Aha! I loved the original Spider-Man on PS4, and this sequel looks amazing. Awesome. It looks awesome. My only concern with it is that they're just going to recycle the same New York City map from Spider-Man PS4, which wouldn't be terrible. They're advertising a day-night cycle and a weather system with it, so hopefully that'll help freshen it up. Anyway, uh, no clear release date, although everyone is speculating that it's a launch title. Then we get into Gran Turismo 7, the real driving simulator. And is it really a big shock that this is coming to PS5? They act like there was uncertainty of it coming in the trailer, even though it's been on literally every PlayStation console, including the PSP and Vita. Speaking of PlayStation classics, Ratchet & Clank. Yep, they're here. The game looks pretty, although most PS5 games do. And I like the teleporty thing they have going on here, it's a great excuse for a VR mode. Then, we get it. Shapes. And a new Square Enix game. I'm glad to see them working on more than just Final Fantasy and other RPGs. <gasps> more shapes! Uh, there's this weird game with a cat, and some robots, and it's called Stray. Ooh, and more shapes! They do a brief highlight reel of the specs, and I can definitively say that the PS5 will run well. They go over the controller some more, and I guess I better talk about this. I think this looks like a really cool controller. I say look because they show us all these immersive features, but it's really hard to judge them without experiencing them firsthand. No pun intended. It's kind of like the HD rumble on the Switch's Joy-Cons. At first, we didn't know what the heck we were looking at. Like, it allows us to feel... ice cubes? But once we actually got our hands on them, it made a lot more sense. And you know what makes sense? Shapes. Ah, Sony's making their own Samus Aran, but in a time loop. Yeah, what an unoriginal idea. Pfft, how lame. Honestly, I'd rather watch these shapes again. Sackboy is back and now in 3D. I don't know why they didn't just call this Little Big Planet 3D or something. It kind of makes me worry that there won't be a 3D level creator and that this is merely just a platformer. But hey, good stuff. Oh hey, Rocket League is now a Destruction Derby. What a lame logo. Shapes. Kenna, Bridge of Spirits looks cool. The combat in this game kind of reminds me of Horizon Zero Dawn. I wonder if that game is getting a sequel. Shapes. And some weird game about talking animals, which no one in the chat liked. Oh hey, Shapes. Oddworld's back, and I like how they kept the same art style as the PS1 game. Good for them. We get another weird game. It kind of looks like Mirror's Edge mixed with Infamous. Then there's a space game. When are we gonna get to the not weird stuff, like SHAPES! This hack and slash game gets shown off called God of- Oh, wait, no, it's just Godfall. Another really cool indie game is shown off that I'm probably not going to buy. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't know what's going on here. I like my PS5 games simple. Like, SHAPES. Oh hey, it's Hitman 3 and Astro's Playroom, thank God. Are you gonna reveal PSVR? Oh God, no, more SHAPES! This looks cool. Stop. Why is NBA 2K21 the best looking game in this presentation? Oh my god. Come join me on the island of bug sex. Wait, what was that? Bug sex. Bug sex? Bug sex. Well, that got my attention. Bethesda is making this first person shooter game where you're stuck in a time loop and this is so cool. It like explains why when you die, you respawn. What a totally original and not lame game. Stop showing us shapes. Oh my god, is this Resident Evil 8? Oh no, it's just a stupid indie game called Vill- Oh, I see what you did there. Shapes. Okay, this game is weird. It looks like it could be the sequel to Death Stranding where one of the fetuses grew up to be a poorly rendered blonde girl, but it's not. Speaking of sequels, it's more shapes. 
oh, this is cool, it's like some sort of tropical open world game. Maybe you could explore the ocean, or fight machines, or what? My god, I love Horizon Zero Dawn, it's like my favorite game on PS4, and it's getting a sequel. Well, I kind of knew it was getting a sequel because of the end of Zero Dawn, but I don't care, I'm pre-ordering. Wow. That completely makes up for all the weird crap I just sat through. And shapes. Anyway, now the shapes are doing a thing, and... What is that? So, they showed us the console, but it looks really weird. Like, it looks like one of those mock-up consoles that some kid on 4chan tries to pass up as a leaked image for an upcoming console. I mean, at least it's different. Kind of looks like Eva from Wally. -E. Well, that was the PS5 The Future of Gaming show, and there were a lot of shapes. We still don't know the release date for the console, or the price, which kind of worries me. But if Horizon 2 Forbidden West is a launch title, then I'll pre-order right away. Ooh, and SpongeBob Alpha Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Rehydrated! No.